I will cook the last supper, but this time not with wine and bread. I will do a gourmet version of the last supper with all the family together. And I would say the only sad thing is that no one will see the selfie. The houses were not the central heating in Chile. So fire or a little stove in the middle of the house was basically the source of heat. So when you were cold, you would always like convene around the fire or convene around the, the, the little gas or paraffin stoves. But also always on top of there, there was a pot with the eucalyptus leaves. Also the smell of toasted bread. It's like when you smell that someone is toasting bread in the morning because the bread is something that you would always go and buy fresh every day. And, and you don't use toasters in Chile. You use it's like a little metal tray that has little holes that gets on top of the stove that burns the, 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 the bread in a more special and, and uh, yes, it's a more delicious bread. It's the idea that if you think you know everything, it means you know nothing. And if you think you know nothing, it means you know something. And for me, it has to do with the quest of, of knowledge, the quest of wisdom, that it's a question that you have to be constantly asking yourself every day because there is no point in your life that you will achieve the top of that mountain. That's the fun of living. It's, like it's, it's not to find an end, but it's to find I guess a beginning because an end is a beginning. So it's, it's, it's a cycle that's endless. And if we don't fall into that with respect and with humility, you just don't achieve it. So you have to have like a very humble, but also uh, active role in, 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 in understanding and living. My musical instruments, there's something really special when you get a musical instrument and it lives with you. It's, it's, for me, they're like my children, really. It's like they grow with me, the, the wood begins to change, the smell begins to change, the grain of the wood, and the more you play them, the more beautiful they sound and they react. So it's, so it's, a, it's, it's a relationship that you establish that for me to, to buy a charango, to buy a flute, a new one, it's not the same as the relationship that I've established with all of them. So it's not that I'm gonna choose one. I mean, you don't, when you have more than one child, I remember having my first child and say, wow, what a beautiful thing. And then you thought that that's the most beautiful thing in the world. And then you have a second child and you say, wow, this guy is just as beautiful. And so, so, so the relationship is not uh, hierarchical. It's just to get to know uh, each, the idiosyncrasies and and, 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 and and what the instrument gives you. It's greed, because I think greed is the, is, 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 is the mother of all evil, really. I mean, in terms of, you go back to slavery, genocide, uh, exploitation, colonization, uh, creating borders that don't exist, child labor. Uh, all of that is driven by greed in which you feel that you want a bigger pie than your fellow human. And I think that if we get away or if we're, if we're able to remove greed from our, I think a lot of things will be resolved.